Hello friends and followers. Today I'm going to be sharpening my little block plane. This is a 13.5 degree block plane. It's really good for doing end grain. I use it a lot if I'm going to be doing some faces on some cabinet shelves and drawers. It really helps you get that really nice clean gap all the way around each shelf and drawer. So I did a bit of an inspection. The blade isn't too bad, but I did screw up the angle last time I tried to sharpen it by hand. So I went out and I bought one of those little guide blocks to make it a hell of a lot easier. So probably, you know, the noob's way of doing it, but it really did help. So I'm going to start with a 400 grit. It is quite coarse, but again, I need to find that angle. And we're going to go all the way up to 8,000. So keeping this thing well lubricated on the exact angle that I need, I think this is going to turn out pretty good. I know what you're thinking, why didn't I use a bucket or something, but honestly, I put epoxy all over this table, so it's not going to harm the timber. I needed something grippy, didn't have a bucket that I could sort of use besides that big white esky, and that's going to be no good for filming, so I just thought I'd give it a quick rub around on these um, little grip pads. They're really good, they're meant for like drawers and stuff that you put your utensils, really handy around the workshop. I was quite happy with the way it turned out, so I gave it a, a quick assembly and decided to give it a test. This is just pine, so hardwood, you're obviously going to get some different results. i got to remember to cut really thin with this thing. You cannot take big slices off, but I was actually really happy with the results. I got some really good strings off it, so it came out quite good. It took about 15 minutes, so I definitely recommend everyone getting some of these Japanese whetstones. One thing you'll notice is right here... I have a little bit of a discrepancy here. You can sort of see there's little lines that go across and that's probably due to some sort of chipping on the actual blade itself. But right now I'm actually pretty happy with it. So this is a really short video in between, you know, Christmas and New Year's. Got some pretty big projects lined up. So if you'll stick with me, I'll um, love to have you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and um, cheers. I'll see you next time.